okay and the previous screencast we saw basics about JavaScript we saw how to declare variables and what is the format of declaring a variable in JavaScript we saw what are the different operators that we can use in JavaScript uh, we also saw what are the different types of loops a looping statements available for us in JavaScript and also we looked at the conditional statements and just before this screencast we also saw about arrays in JavaScript now another basic building block of a programming language started from structured programming language is functions uh, since JavaScript is an object-oriented programming language functions are an important part of that language now let's see how we can create a function in JavaScript and why is it useful for us uh, let's start with uh, some basic concepts let's say uh, how, w what is the syntax for creating a function creating a function in JavaScript is really simple we use the keyword function followed by the name of the function so I'm going to say function name and then we use brackets parentheses so this is how this is the format of creating a function we have the keyword function similar to a variable we remember that a variable in JavaScript is created using var the variable name equal to the initial value right so that's what what we did up till now so this was our uh, variable whatever initial value we need have okay and this is the function now uh, inside the functions we can have many different types of uh, parameters say a b c d whatever we need and similarly what we can do is we can also have uh, let's say a return statement we can return back from this function any value that we need for example if I can say a return 12 okay something like that so for instance if I were to write a calculator function a small function for adding two values what I would do is for example let's say I'm going to uh, declare a function called add we'll accept two values and we'll return the sum of these two values so I'm going to say I have these a and b what I need to do is create a result and then just add these two values together and then return the result what I can do is after declaring this function I can actually call this function from the from outside over here let's say I'm going to call this function from here let's say var sum equal to add in the past two numbers from here let's say 5 comma 10 and then I want to write it so it's a document dot write and then I just want to display the sum okay that simple let me save this and run it one of the reasons why brackets is like really annoying it takes time to start rendering the page is taking a lot of time okay so you see this is how I got, I got 15 which is the sum of these two numbers 5 and 10 so this is how functions are declared we can we just need to use the function keyword the name of the function any number of attributes any number of uh, parameters or arguments and then we can also return values from that function okay this is how we use it now one of the most popular use of a function in JavaScript is using it as an event handler for example let's say I have a hyperlink which is something like this okay a and say uh, click here and there's something like that now whenever a person clicks on this link I don't want to go to another page but rather than that I want to open a JavaScript function so what I need to do is define uh, an attribute called on click on click is an attribute where 
which allows you to attach a JavaScript function to that particular element. It can be applied to uh, an, a link or a button or I think a link and a button that's it. So let's say on click and over here in that set of brackets I need to call the function. So in that case I'm having add which is the name of my function. In this case I'm going to 10 comma 5 okay and semicolon. So I'm going to remove this call over here and what I'm going to do is instead of instead of saying result I'm going to do is alert the result okay instead of returning that I'm just going to alert the result I'm going to save that and let's run it say refresh it I'm going to say click here see this is 15 so this is how it works you can attach a function attach a JavaScript function to the uh, to the link or to any other element like a button and then it will allow you to invoke that function whenever that action is performed so this is event handling event oriented programming where you attach an event to an, a link or to a click of a button or to any other element onto your UI so for example if I have a button say for example input type equal to button uh, and then I can say on click then I can just simply call on click again I'm going to call add but this time I'm going to say 10 comma 10 and, and close that okay and then that's it okay let's say value add okay save that let's go back to our page and see how it renders so refresh that I have click here which give me, gives me 15 and I have a button add which gives me 20 because I'm adding 10 and 10 so this is just a brief introduction about functions we are going to use these functions whenever we are going to attach an event to a button or to a link in whenever we want to invoke a JavaScript function so this is how this is done since if if we don't put the function then this this uh, function will perform each time the page is refreshed okay so this is how we can use functions in JavaScript that's simple